guys, Diantha's Mini 5. I've recorded this so many times and it's just so difficult for me. But I'm going to try to get through it without crying, so just bear with me. But this is my miscarriage story. Um, we had the, I meant the doctor's appointment went good and I'm nursing, so you'll see the camera moving because she keeps bumping it, but um we um went to the doctor's appointment and everything was good and I had my first ultrasound and um she was doing an ultrasound and she wasn't speaking to me saying nothing and one the only, she did speak to me one time and she was like I gotta go get the doctor and she was doing an ultrasound for like a good five minutes and she, she didn't say n anything to me besides going to get the doctor so my heart dropped because I knew something was wrong like why else would she not speak to me and then immediately has to go with the doctor so I knew something was wrong and um she went and got the doctor and came back and um she still wouldn't speak to me she didn't say nothing and the doctor's like um did you hear the heartbeat yesterday and i was like yeah and um he was like okay um i need you to follow me back to the office i mean he did the ultrasound and then he asked me to follow him and I asked him I said before I follow you can I go get my mother and he was like yeah and so I followed him back there and um, he told me that he wanted to do more lab work to check my hormones from the day, previous day and I was like I didn't understand but I was just like okay that's fine so I went and got the lab work done and then went back to the waiting room and then he eventually came and got me and went back into his office and he uh he said my hormones have dropped my levels have dropped and that I was going to have a miscarriage and I didn't, I didn't I don't know how like I don't know how to feel about it so I kind of I just went numb like my feelings went numb and um I don't know and um so he said that I because it was a Friday he said I can uh go home and try to have you know pass it myself or I can um come back Monday and have a DNC and I was like okay go ahead and schedule the appointment for Monday and I'll come back for the DNC and he was like okay and Saturday the next day early in the morning I woke up to pain like labor pains it hurts so bad I was bleeding like horrible like I couldn't I put pads on it was just like going right through it I couldn't like blood was just running down my legs and everything and um anyways I went to the emergency room that Saturday and um, um I told the nurse in the emergency room I said I'm having a miscarriage and she's like how do you know you have a miscarriage and I was like my doctor told me I was going to and I was like I have a scheduled DNC for Monday and she's like okay and she took me back and I don't know what they were doing trying to scrape the baby out of me I don't know it was painful I couldn't handle it I was crying I was screaming telling him to stop and he was like okay he was like just relax just relax and um I couldn't relax it hurt and anyways they took me upstairs for the DNC got me ready for it and the nurse was so insensitive that was up there she, oh my gosh I told I was crying and I was just like I'm have I'm losing my baby my baby's dying or my baby's dead like I was I was I don't know I was panicking and I was scared and and all she could say was she's like well it's not a baby it's a tissue and I I was 
I was mad at that point. I was like, no, it's not tissue. It's my baby. And I don't understand how someone could say that to you when you're sitting there crying and in pain and you're like emotionally like emotionally and physically like how could you be just like I don't, I don't understand people but anyways um went in for the dnc he said count back from 100 i started counting and next thing i know i'm waking up and um that was that was rough um not physically like physically after the surgery I was fine um it was emotionally that's what got to me for a whole month I didn't want to do nothing just cry like wake up cry like that's all I would, could do I didn't want to do anything and like now now I know there's sport, sport groups it's Facebook like there's tons of groups and there's just sorry my baby keeps bumping um like I for me personally like I didn't have no one to talk to, no one to, no one to support me, no one to understand what I was going through. Like I didn't, I didn't have anyone. No one understood, and now I know there's groups now. And if I would have had someone to talk to, I would have got through it so much easier, and that would have helped me out. Because instead I had to bottle it all up and just deal with it on my own. And it shouldn't be that way. You should have someone to speak to. Someone that's going through the same thing. or You just should have someone. And um, I, I was asked by several people. Like not several at least a few and I know there's people talking behind my back but they're like how could you be so upset over having a miscarriage when you already have three kids that still gets me it's like that was still my kid too yes I had three and yes but it didn't make it the pain any less like, I was still hurting emotionally. I don't know. But, anyways, um, that's my, um, miscarriage story. And hopefully it helps someone. Because, I mean, there's a lot of, like, groups and stuff you can join to talk to and, It's always good to talk to someone. I mean, I didn't have no one, and I think that's why it took me so many years to get over it. And it still affects me now. It's been nine years, and it still affects me. But just have someone to speak to, have someone to talk to, and that that's what helps. And I'm always here if you comment on my videos. I'll always speak to you about it. But thank you for watching.